the operator of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi plant, says external power to reactors 3 and 4 has been cut due to a problem in transmission lines. Tokyo Electric Power Company said on Friday that a current breaker was tripped by a sudden surge in external power lines, cutting off electricity to the reactors. The problem forced TEPCO to again stop its radioactive water treatment system. It also halted the cooling system for the spent fuel storage pool in Reactor 3 for about five hours. TEPCO says the pool temperature remained stable at around 30 degrees Celsius. The utility said work to inject water and nitrogen into the reactor wasn't affected as electricity is being supplied from other power sources. It also said radiation levels around the plant showed no major change and claimed there is little risk of a leak occurring. It also said radiation levels around the plant showed no major change and claimed there is little risk of a leak occurring and need to escape. I don't like my job and I don't think I'm going to go anymore. TEPCO is trying to find out what caused the problem. This year's Japanese police white paper has outlined measures they are taking to ensure safety and security in areas affected by the March 11th earthquake and tsunami. It was released on Friday and focused on various efforts in the disaster-hit regions. The report says new activities in the affected areas include visits to evacuation centers, consultations with evacuees, and the installation of temporary police boxes. The white paper calls for efforts to prevent looting of homes and shops left deserted after the disaster. These include joint patrols with residents. The report also stresses the importance of combating other disaster-related crimes including fundraising scams and the unlicensed sale of drugs to combat radiation poisoning and the unlicensed sale of drugs to combat radiation poisoning and the unlicensed sale of drugs to combat radiation poisoning another nuclear reactor in japan has been shut down for regular inspection that leaves over two-thirds of the nation's nuclear capacity out of action just as electricity demand surges in the summer heat the number four reactor at the Takahama nuclear plant in Fukui Prefecture in central Japan began reducing output on Thursday and went offline on Friday. Another reactor at the Oi nuclear plant, also in Fukui, is scheduled to be shut down by Saturday. Both will undergo inspections for four months. With local opposition running high, the prospects for restarting the reactors are unclear. The latest shutdowns mean that of Japan's 54 nuclear reactors, 38 are not operating. Three more will be shut down in August, bringing the total to 41 reactors. All of the nation's remaining 13 reactors are scheduled to go offline by spring next year, possibly leaving Japan with not a single operating reactor. Possibly leaving Japan with not a single operating reactor. The chief of the International Atomic Energy Agency says he will visit the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant next week to view progress made in efforts to stabilize the troubled reactors there. IAEA Director General Yukia Amano made the announcement on Thursday at the agency's headquarters in Vienna. Amano will visit the nuclear complex on Monday to confirm the extent of damage to the facility and inspect ongoing operations to cool the reactors. Amano said he will wear protective gear and go as far into the plant as he is allowed so he can get a full understanding of what, he is, what is going on. Ooh, this guy is fucked. Referring to rice straw contaminated with radioactive material that was used as cattle feed, he said he will offer the IAEA's help with decontamination when he meets Prime Minister Nalto Khan. Amano said the agency is confident its experience in dealing with the Chernobyl accident will be useful to Japan. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. The operator of the Hamaoka nuclear power plant in central Japan says it will take measures to protect the facility against tsunami damage. It plans to build an 18-meter high embankment by December next year. Chubi Electric Power Company said on Friday that the breakwater will be three meters taller than the waves that hit the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant on March. The plant operator added the barrier would be 10 meters taller than the highest waves that could be expected if three major earthquakes occurred in the area at the same time. The utility says it also plans to build a waterproof building to house a backup pump for injecting seawater into the reactors in case other cooling functions are lost due to tsunami flooding. 
The firm said the measures will cost around $1.3 billion. All five reactors at the plant have been shut down. This includes two that have already been closed for decommissioning. Another one is down for, uh, down for scheduled checks, and the last two have been stopped by request of the Prime Minister. Chubi Electric says it will brief local residents on the new safety measures to gain support to resume operations at three reactors. I don't even want to think about the litigious possibilities, Frank. We could be up to our ears in lawsuits. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、